our first, I don't want to say real speaker because other speakers were real too. They're real people. They're not bots. Um, but our first speaker is Maynak, who's going to be telling us about the history of data, right? If we're talking about data on Kubernetes, it's probably important to go back a little bit and see how it was that we got here. So Maynak has created an amazing presentation, awesome graphic design, and also going to influence, get some science stuff in there. So let's see. I think we got your screen. Yep, we can see your screen. Just uh, put on your presentation. You should be good to go. Okay. So am I visible? Can yes. You see me? Yes. Okay. So, I'm starting that. A warm welcome to every single one of you for joining us today at DOP Students. My name is Moinak Biswas. Currently, I pursue my bachelor's in electronics and communication engineering. But apart from that, I'm a programmer and I call myself an amateur astronomer because I'm deeply interested in topics like space science, space technology, and astronomy. Well, that was all about me, but let's talk about our topic that is history of databases. What is a database, you might ask? Database is simply an organization of data that is stored and accessed through a computer system. Let's talk about the database system. Starting from the very beginning, it was the 1960s, and computers were getting faster and more capable. A number of general purpose databases were starting to emerge, but there was a need for a standard. So IBM came up with the hierarchical model of data, databases. In hierarchical model, data is organized in a tree-like structure, where every single parent record has multiple child records. But a child record can have only a single parent record. That's the key thing about hierarchy model. In searching in data, searching data through hierarchy model was a sequential method. So it was very, very time consuming. We came up with this new model, Kodase model, after hierarchy model. What's the key difference between Kodase model and hierarchy model? The key difference is that the, parent, that the child record doesn't need to have a parent record in Kodase model. The member record can exist truly on its own without the owner record. That's the key difference. But Still, Kodase model used to still use sequential searching, and that was very time consuming. So we need a new kind of method, and for that, a new invention was done by this gentleman right here, Edgar F. Cott. Edgar F. Cott devised this new method called relational model database. Let's talk about it. Let's see how it works. Well, to understand relational database, relational database in relational database data is organized in tables. Every single table is for a specific entity. Like one table is for customer, another table is for employee, another table is for department. There's all the different tables, and those are different entities. In those tables, there are specific number of columns. Those columns are the attributes of those entities. Like the employee table has employee ID, customer ID, first name, last name, these are all the attributes. And data is stored in rows, in those columns, in rows in that table. That's how data is organized in a table. All these tables are linked to each other by data that is common to each other. So that's generally how relational model works. This relational model data, the database, made storing data very, very efficient. And searching data was far too efficient than the previous models. Let's talk about databases in real life. Databases that are used in today's app today. To tell you about that, I need first to tell you about the types of data. The types of data can be broadly categorized since as small data and big data. Small data is a general data that we use in day to day basis, but big data is something that we, are, uh, that we are observing for the past few years. To give you an example of a big data, I'll give you the example of Amazon, a company like Amazon. It, it tracks every single click you do on the website. Now, what do they do with all that data? What they basically do with all the data is they uh, find recommendations based on your search history. What happens is, the data, uh, what happens is, and multiply that by millions of people, millions of users, and you get a petabytes and exabytes of data. That is essentially what big data is. We handle big small data, we have relational database management system, RDBNS in short. But to handle big data, we have NoSQL or non relational database models. Some examples of non relational database models like Cassandra, MongoDB, Hypertable. You see that? The first ever image of a black hole. How was that taken? Let me explain. A bunch of telescopes, radio telescopes on the ground together called event horizon telescopes, they acted in, acted in synchronization with each other to create a telescope that's practically as big as our own planet. And they gathered information in, pets, in petabytes and exabytes, thousands of terabytes of data they gathered. That was, that's essentially big data. And we use big data to, to get this image, get this image of a black hole. That's located 55 million light years away from Earth. So that's how far that black hole is. And we created an image of that. If you ask me, that is one of the greatest invent, 
and achievements of mankind. So that is all able. To, we are all able to do that because we are handle. We are able to handle big data. So that's one of the greatest achievement. All of that is great and everything, but how is any of that related to DOK? Well, DOK stands for data and communities. We have to deal with lots and lots of data. To handle all this data, we need some of the most advanced databases, like Terminus DB, Cockroach DB, and we also have our Cassandra. Cassandra was actually created from Apache's Cassandra. And it is made in such a way that it's ready for Kubernetes. It's just plug and play. It's very easy to use in for Kubernetes. Uh, okay. To summarize it all it up, let's talk about what we talked about. We talked about what's a database. Database and organization of data that is stored and access to a computer system. Hierarchy database. In hierarchy database, data is organized in a tree-like structure. Band record and child record. For the model, there is no such foundation on the member record to have your own record. It can exist on its own. In relation data, data databases, data is organized in a table format. And tables are linked to each other with that data that is common to each other. After that, we have post relation database models, which are the non relational database models, also called as NoSQL, which are used to handle big data. If you want to explore more, go ahead and watch this documentary on YouTube on Computer Museum. It's a great short clip that you can, you're really going to enjoy. But, and if you want to go into detail of all that I talked about, you can, I suggest you watch this playlist on YouTube by Bart Beasons. Shout out to my friend Athar Kuretsky for all the help and for all the latest info that he gave me. And shout out to Bart Farwa and all the members at UA Community for all the help and the valuable feedback he gave. Thank you, everyone. So thank you, everyone. That was all from my side. My, hit me up on my socials and get stuck to your chair because we're going to have some fun and great speakers tonight here at DOK Students Day. Very, very good. That was amazing. We see the power of a lot of different things here. Really nice mixture of Maynek's interest in space science and how he was able to incorporate that as it's no secret that there's tons and tons of data coming into this stuff. Just really quickly, when did you get interested in space science? Uh, I was since I was a child, I was very, very interested in all these topics. When I was a kid, I just wanted to be an astronaut. After some time, when I knew about what astronomy is, I was like deeply interested in astronomy. Uh, I've been, ever since then, I've been just keeping myself into all these things. I uh, have joined some astronomy communities as well because I'm deeply interested in all this. So ever since I was a kid, I was deeply interested in all this. That's cool. But I think it's awesome as well too. Obviously, if you're interested in computer science or data or anything, there are tons yeah. of different ways. We had a wonderful session for, with someone that I actually met through Kunal Kushwaha named uh, Logan Fitzpatrick. And he's working on the Julia programming language, which is being used a lot by researchers. And he also worked in NASA. And it was absolutely incredible to see how these different things interact with each other. But anyway, I just, think, I just think it's awesome that you were able to blend those two things together. And also for anybody out there, as you see with the DOK, like we're mixing in hip hop with databases and Kubernetes and a little bit of everything here and there. And you can absolutely do the same thing. So anyway, great talk. Thank you very much. Um, if you can stop sharing your screen so we can get our next speaker on, um, that'll be awesome. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again. Absolute pleasure. Cheers, Maynack.